Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let me just uh, allow my mouse cursor to be seen because we're gonna need it for an inverted pixel studio production as well as a black land. It presents the Frozen Flame RPG. This game was made in 2006. Uh, mind that, that's just my Valium. Uh, and it has its own website. This is one of my favorite games I've ever seen on this game. It is an RPG. Well, I'm gonna name it Steam Boy 27. Alright, here we go. This is actually a crossover game between many, many different series, but I will not go over any of them. If you want to know, you can look in the description of the game in the link that I'm gonna put inside of the of the video description. Alright, log date 8-3. I just got my security door fixed up just in case I forgot. It's... let me click that. Oh, experiment number 5. 005. Up, oh, up, oh, that stranger's naming us. Hmm. Oh, we're a clone of that mysterious stranger over there. And we're the key to the frozen flame. Scar doesn't know what the heck that means. I gotta go, Loggy. The guy said he said something about frozen flame. Alright, so... If you can't guess, we're that clone. We're... We're subject 005, a clone of that mysterious stranger over there. Alright, look at these swords. How can you ignore these swords? Let's get those swords. Up. Uh, what happened? Game? 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 What? That? I did. I got the swords. And. <laughs> I got the swords and something ha- I don't know what happened. Um, hold on. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect this to happen. Okay, the game glitched out when I got the so Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Um, I don't know what happened, so this time I'm going to look at the log, and I'm going to get out, and then I'm going to get those swords, because I, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go look at that log. Alright, came back and experiment f number 05 just grew into a perfect living being. Alright. Our. Oh wow, his, his security door is 54321. That's pretty, pretty genius. And you get the feeling it's not a good idea to leave this room without a weapon. So we're gonna get those weapons now and hope the game doesn't crash. Alright, we got our twin buster swords. Let's go. Totally not a reference to Final Fantasy VII. Let's go. All right. So what was the what was the code, guys? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. And there we go. We got it. Oh, I love the artwork in this game. So good. This is like one of the games, like one of those games in history that you play on. You know, because Newgrounds has a lot of really good games that were original, free, and were made just for fun. This is one of those games. Oh my god, it's the Newgrounds tank. Tom Fulp was here. What does that say on the bed? Eugene Cho, Tom Fulp, NG tank? Oh boy. It doesn't. I can't even see my entire name. I found that you're the key to the frozen flame. Well, no more am I working for that guy. Your DNA is important to me, and I should have kept one for myself. He'll take my blood once he destroys us. But that ain't gonna happen. Think of the possibility I can gain with frozen flame. <laughs> Alright, it's us versus the new Browns tank. Let's go. Alright, we got... Let's see what we can do. Let's try using fire. What 
that tank doing? Oh god! That's right, ice. Which one does more? Looks like ice does more. That really hurts. Uh, let's try ice again. It doesn't look like we'll be losing. Oh wow, that did a lot less. Is that thing just gonna keep shooting me over and over again? Yes it is, okay. Now let's try healing. That's not enough, I don't think. Oh Jesus, oh god, okay. Let's heal up a little more. I'm waiting for that core gauge to go up to its max. I'm sure those of you who have played Final Fantasy know exactly what that thing is gonna do. Alright, let's try using our normal attack. Well, that didn't do so bad. Alright, our core gauge is all the way to the max. I have no idea what's going on, by the way. That was pretty cool. So, no rhyme or reason to why we're doing all this stuff, how, why we can do this, why we are suddenly a character out of Final Fantasy. But how can you complain? Alright, this tank is almost dead. Let's get out of here. A little bit more. Also, the music is rocking. I love the music. This is probably one of my first RPGs. Uh, well, not really, actually. Let's think about it for a while. That's one, probably one of the first RPGs that I've played on Newgrounds. And it... Ooh, we picked up a stone from Scar. Oh good, and we got our core gauge leveled up. Now to be honest, this is a story, and not really an RPG. But, you can take it as it is. Alright, let's go check out that temple in the distance. Emerald Nelson? And there's Robo Bob. I'm assuming these are characters from another story. This game, the, the game does take characters from other stories made by the creators. That's Robo Bob, and that's Captain Leader. And that's Stan. Oh, Stan. Alright, if we help them, they'll give us the other half of the stone we have. How convenient. Alright, their ship runs on Kool-Aid, so we better go get some Kool-Aid. So here, that's our mission. We have to go get that Kool-Aid. The city ahead of us is called Central City. Hey, Stan. Alright, Kool-Aid, huh? Yes, there are some typos in this game, uh, but consider that it's made by some one person, Eugene Chu. I, 
think the original name for our our our, our protagonist is Thavado. Thavadu? I don't even remember his name. Uh, but here we are. We're in Central City. Is that Proto Man? Oh, whatever. So that guy up there was a cyborg, and this is Cap. Cap is probably from another story. Are we a cyborg? Hmm. Yeah, we're not a cyborg. Where can we find some Kool-Aid? That is the most important pro- uh, most important question. We must find the Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid's in here. Get your Kool-Aids and Pepsis here, let's go. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, give me some Kool-Aid. Hey! That man is not listening to me. Alright. That person is spazzing out about a guy named Brennan. That guy's name is Jalapeno. Alright, alright, come on guys. That man is asleep, how do I get him to wake up? Our Kool-Aid machine broke down? No, we need that Kool-Aid. Ismail, you can't fix the Kool-Aid machine by just running into it. Brennan is sure that the gear will show up somehow. Ismail would give out Kool-Aid for free if we could like, if we could somehow get that gear. But where is that gear, I wonder? Hmm. I wonder if that cyborg had anything to do with it. Nah, it couldn't be. Oh, there's that cyborg again. Better go after him. Whoa! That person is using lead speak. Where are my swords? That's not true, we can do magic. Oh, that thief took our swords, so though. We need to get it back. Hey, Q. Oh, they're full at the hotel. Yeah, we saw that ancient temple. We tried to get there, but it was blocked by a spaceship. Well, actually, to be honest, we don't have any blades at all right now. Whoa, she escaped into the game. Hey, buddy. Possess toasters, demons, possess refrigerators, video game characters escaping. It's my life, man. Well, that's good for you, Jazz. But now we need to get our we need to get our swords back. So into the game we go. All right, how do we play? The thief is throwing bombs at us. Avoid them at all cost. Her high score is 1,000, and we gotta try and beat it. All right, so very self-explanatory. All right, into cyberspace we go. Welcome to my video game layout. Pretty spiffy. C DOS. Run. Run. Do what? No, that doesn't work. Yeah, it's not a batch file at all. Stupid MS DOS is not an internal or external command. 
Drop the bomb, DDR style. Let's freaking go! Alright, so we only have three lives, and we're gonna have to avoid these bombs. We can shoot something. I don't know what we're shooting. Some sort of Pac-Man bullet. But that's okay. We just need to kill these bombs. We get points by shooting the bombs, so we gotta shoot- Ow! We gotta shoot as many bombs as we can. And don't be afraid to spam bullets, because, I mean, doesn't seem like it does anything to the frame rate. So it looks like we just need to kill a hundred of these bombs. And if we kill a hundred of these bombs, we'll get enough points to beat that thief's high score. And if we can beat that thief- Ow! If we beat that thief's high score, then maybe we'll get our swords back. We do need to be careful. Our hitbox is very deceptive. I'm pretty sure it's this big square and it's actually not our actual face. So you'll probably get hit for no reason. I did mention that this is just a rookie game, right? This is a Flash game. Flash games are made for fun, for experimentation, for programming. It's a beautiful thing, really it is. Alright, we're getting close to beating that high score. I just need to play it safe because I only have so many lives left. Alright, just a little more, and we're almost done. Oh, one more. Yeah, we won! We got a thousand points, and the thief has a thousand points. Oh, look at that. Brennan has a nut. Who the heck is Spirited Blue? We got Noob, Jazz, Jazz, Ismail, Christy, Scar. Scar got a pretty good point. Your mom. Your mom got a score of 962. Ninja Bunny, Robo Rules, Captain Leader, Cap, Missy. Thavadu, Brennan, Q. Yeah, look at all the scores. Oh god. Just don't beat your high score, huh? Well, we got our swords back. Thank goodness. Good thing she only cared about her high score and not her actual, uh... Her actual reward. That's gaming for you. Great, that cyborg might be long gone now. How are we going to catch up to it? On with the journey, I guess. So next time, we'll catch up to that cyborg. This is Steam 27 wishing you all a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day. This game is fairly short, by the way, so by probably the next episode, we'll be done. I'll see you later.